um, hello grade 11 and 12 to, uh, now uh, after the video of uh, the introduction to matrix uh, to matrix sorry I'm going to start showing you how to solve the system of, uh, of three linear equations using uh, matrices now the the idea of using a matrix is to arrange the, these three equations in three variables with their constant numbers and then we're going to use something that is called uh, uh, row operations. These row operations are an, certain operations done, I'm going to show you how, uh, to eliminate all the numbers that we don't need until we, we are left with only a variable and a number at the end. So we'll be left with x equals a number, y equals a number, z equals a number. Uh, please open page uh, 212 for this example and follow this. Now, this is the system of equations that we have. The first one is x plus 2y plus 3z equals 9. The second one is x plus 3y plus 2z equals 5. And the last one is x plus 4y minus z equals minus 5. Okay, so before we perform our uh, row operations, we're going to rearrange these into a matrix. Now, the matrix is always represented by a very big square bracket, like this. Now, we're going to each column, each column like this one. Let's do it up here. This is an arrow, that's for x, okay? This arrow is for y, and the arrow after it is for z. So let's start with x. Now here, what is the coefficient of uh, of x for the first equation? It's one. The second equation, one. Third equation is one. This is just by coincidence, but we're going just to write it one. Here one, and here one. Y, what are the coefficients of y in here? The first one is 2, 3, and 4. Now, z, what are the coefficients of z? The first one is 3, second one is 2, last one is negative 1. Okay, now next to, the, next to them we're going to add another column that shows us the constants, which is the value of uh, of the addition of these coefficients together with their variable. So here, for example, we have 9, then 5, then negative 5. So we're going to add 9, 5, negative 5 as a fourth column for this matrix. Now, we're having a matrix of 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's 3 by 4 matrix. That's the dimension of the matrix. Okay, now we're done with this. Now let's go to the, our next step, which is performing the row operations. The row operations, in the row operations, we're going to use uh, the addition and uh, a subtraction, multiplication, um, and that's it. We're not going to do division. The, even the, mul the multiplication is going to be done by either uh, a whole number or um, or a fraction, which is uh, which is considered division in this case. But what we can do with the rows together is just adding the rows, only adding and subtracting. You cannot multiply a row by a row. You cannot divide row by a row, only adding and subtracting. So for example, we can add this row, which is row number one, to row number two. Or we can subtract row number two from row number three. It doesn't matter. But at the end, at the end, what we want from this operation is to get uh, a matrix that looks like this. Here, we will be having 1, 0, 0, and then a number. And then we will be having 0, 1, 0, and then a number. And then here, we will be having 0, 0, 1, and then a number. Why? Because the 1 here is the coefficient of x. The one in the second uh, row is the coefficient of y. The one is the third uh, in the third row is the coefficient of z. So what we are left with at the end is x equals this number, y equals this number, and z equals this number. 
okay now let's talk about multiplication for multiplication you can only multiply a, a constant by a row so you can multiply a constant by a row and then you add or subtract this row from another row but you cannot multiply rows together so let's do this uh, example together we have here the first operation that we're going to do is r2 minus r1 okay where r1 is this r2 is this r3 is this so r1 is the first row second row third row here we're going to subtract r2 uh, r1 from r2 so it's r2 minus r1 so here r2 minus r1 so 1 minus 1 oh and by the way um now here when you're going to uh, usually when you do this now, the operation is R2 minus R1, but we're going to write it as negative R1 plus R2. Why? Why are we doing this? Because the the last row written in the operation is what is going to change. Because when you're subtracting or adding the two rows together, uh, here you might com be confused on which one are you going to change, the first row or the second row. It's always the last one written. So here we're having negative R1 plus R2. So we're changing R2. So this is R2, the original R R2. Uh, okay, and this negative R1. So 1 minus 1 is, now we're changing R2. 1 minus 1 is 0. 3 minus 2 is 1. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. 5 minus 9, negative 4. Now we changed this row. Now we're going to rewrite the first row, which is 1, 2, 3, and 9. The third row, which is 1, 4, negative 1, and negative 5. Okay, done. Now let's go to the second, uh, to the next operation. The next operation is going to be, let's write it here. It is minus R1 again, plus R3. So what's What's going to change here is R3. So R3, which is this, minus R1. So let's do this. Let's do this in a different color. So the third row is what's going to change. 1 minus 1 is <coughs> 0. 4 minus 2 is 2. Uh, negative 1 minus 3, which is negative 4. And then we're having negative 5, negative 9, which is negative 14. Now we're done with the new row. Let's just rewrite the old ones like the same, negative one. And we always rewrite them as the previous step. We don't go uh, further. So here we're having zero, one, negative one, negative four, and the first one is still the same. One, two, three, and nine. Okay, now we're getting closer because we already made this zero and we made this zero. What we're aiming for now is uh, here number two how can we how can we make number two um, uh, um, yes we want number two here to be zero how can we do that okay uh, some of you might tell me that we can uh, do r3 minus r1 so we can, so this two minus two is zero but if we did that, that means the zero here is going to be adding to negative one. So it's going to become negative one. So we're just going to go at uh, like we start from scratch. We don't want that. So you always would want to do uh, an operation to change the second number, the, se the number in the second um, column. You have to use the row that has an element of zero at the beginning. So here we have zero. So... Uh, the most proper way here is to use the second uh, row so we're going to use this but this is one not two how can we make it two we're going to multiply it by two so we multiply this row which is the second row by two and then we subtract it from r3 so we're going to have negative two r2 plus r3 so we're changing r3 here Let's just do it like this, just for now, until we get used to it. So here we'll be having... 
now where is the row that we're changing it's here we can use uh, another color to do this just to to make sure that we're not uh, um, we're not using wrong numbers so here for example the first one is the, the coefficient that we're using or the factor that we're using is negative 2 so here we're having negative 2 by 0 is 0 negative 2 by 2 is negative 2 negative 2 by negative 1 is 2 and then we're having negative 2 multiplied by negative 4 which becoming 8 now we're just going to add this into the third row and then we write it right here so here we'll be having 0 plus 0 which is 0 negative 2 plus 2 which is 0 2 minus 4 which is minus 2 8 minus 14 which is minus 6 and here we're done with the third row let's just rewrite the rows before which are 0 1 negative 1 negative 4 you don't try the new numbers here these were just to help us okay they didn't change the row the first row is still the same which is 1 2 3 and 9 here we're having the 0 0 here we have the 0 now we're going to we want to change this number into 0 this number into 0 this number into 0 and then we still have uh, the negative 2 we want it to become 1 so we're going to divide the whole equation by negative 2 okay so it's going to be negative 2 this the, the next step is negative 2 or let's make it negative 1 over 2 sorry multiplied by r3 so we're only changing r3 by multiplying it by a factor of half so this is this will become 1 this will become 3 then we will be have the last row ready and start going up until we do all this again uh, so now what I want you to do is uh, I want you to finish this um, this example by yourselves uh, give me the results that you get for X Y and Z or at least give me the results of this here of what you get at the end for this um, uh, column which means the values of x, y, and, uh, uh, and z, and then send me your questions uh, using an audio message on WhatsApp or uh, a written message on Google+.